Okay, so here we have the ovary. And connected by the mesovarium, which is this film right here. dark line that goes down the center is the archinephric duct. And where were the kidneys? That was like is the opisthonephros, which is just like their kidney, just less advanced than ours. Um, this is a female, we can't see the uterus or anything else that <laughs> is connected to it, basically. Um, I'll chase the path of the egg. Sure. Hypothetically. Let's give it a shot. So from the ovary, it would go to uh, all right. It's gonna go up and behind here to the mutamental gland, and then travel down the oviduct to the uterus, which would be seen in this area if it was mature. Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Alright, what's next? I, I think she asked for the trace of the sperm path, but honestly it's so vague. Yeah, um, Hypothetically speaking, if it was a male. <laughs> so let's just pretend that the ovary is the testy for now. Um, it's going to go down through the Leydig's gland and then to the seminal vesicles and finally the sperm sac where it's stored, which would be in this area. If it was a male. <laughs> Alright. That was next to the uh, sense organs, right? Yeah. Okay. You can stop it. Okay, let's see. Infraorbital. Infraorbital field. It's right in here, all these tiny little uh, pores. Present on the shark skin. We have the, uh, impossible to see, but the infraorbital canal, traveling just behind the jaw here, or just in front of the jaw here. Just behind it would be the mandibular canal, tracing back almost to the gills would be the hyomandibular canal. Above the shark, oh, we have the two nares. Above the shark, we have the supraorbital canal, or kind of orbiting around circling rather the nares if they were above the shark. We have the super superorbital ancillary field, although it's you can't see because we cut it off. We have the spiracle, which draws on water. We have the trunk canal which trails back roughly just off the center of the shark. Just uh, lateral to the center. Supra temporal temporal canal should be right around in there somewhere. Vendibular pit organs stretch from just in front of the gills almost to the spiracle. They can't really be seen but there would be a row of small dots. Vendibular pit organs also stretch down right in there. You can see those. Little dots just in front of the gills. Let's see. Up front 
are the ampullae of the Renzi, the small pores that excrete gel when squeezed. And naturally the eye, of course. We have the eye muscles. Let's see what's right in here. Uh, the dorsal um, constrictor, no, not constrictor, uh, dorsal, oh, where is the tip of my tongue too? Yeah. <laughs> Rectus is the bad. Oblique. oblique. Yeah. Dorsal oblique, underneath it, dorsal oblique underneath that would be the ventral oblique, just 